Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome along to this channel and thanks for joining me if it's your first time here. Now today I'm gonna to share how you can simply embed your Shopify products throughout a WordPress website so that you can reach potentially more customers online. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into this brief Shopify tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel. And with that happy note out the way, let's go ahead and embed your Shopify products throughout your WordPress website. Okay, so how do we take our Shopify store products and embed those products onto a WordPress website? Okay, so first you need to log into your Shopify admin. Once you've arrived here, simply navigate over to sales channel. This is where we need to integrate a app with Shopify so that we can embed products on WordPress. Simply navigate up to the search bar and type in buy button and then click on search down here. And that's going to take you to the app store then simply navigate down and locate by button channel click here and you can see that the developer for this app is shopify come down and click on add app then click on add sales channel okay so what we want to do is create a buy button for a website or blog basically what we're doing is creating a buy now button then we can embed that with a product onto a wordpress website or any other website and that's going to display the embedded product at the top and then a button below it to encourage people to buy this product so i'm going to go ahead and click on create a buy button then here we have the option to either just embed a product or we can embed a collection. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm first going to create a collection by button and then I'm going to embed a single product onto my WordPress website. So first of all, navigate down, click on collection by button, then choose a collection that you've created inside Shopify and select next. And here we first want to navigate over to customize and customize the way that our embedded product or catalog displays on our website. So first come down to action when people click and we're going to select open product details. However, we can choose to send people directly to the checkout or add product to cart. I'm going to navigate down and click on open product details. Then click on button style. Here we can change the color. Think about the brand color on your WordPress website and make sure that's the same here. I'm just going to go ahead and choose this blue color up here. We can also customize the button corners and the button width. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to navigate back. Then come down to layout. Here we can choose the image size. I'm going to select medium or we can select large. However, I like the look of medium. Then come down and I recommend keeping set images a fixed size selected. Then choose the alignment. I like center align. That's going to look better on my WordPress website. Then say left or right aligned. Then below that we can choose to show the call to action button. At the moment we have view product, view product, view product. We can navigate over here and we can change that. We can choose to not display those buttons if we like. I'm going to navigate down to button text and I'm going to change this to buy now. Then come down and we can choose the colors for the product title as well as the price over here. Then if we come down further, we have typography. Again, we can customize this and we can also customize the pricing if we like. We can change the sizing, make that a bit bigger and obvious, but I'm happy with that. Now, once you've made any customizations to your catalog or product, simply navigate up here and view what your products will look like, your catalog will look like across these different options, mobile, desktop, and full screen. Then navigate up to next when you're finished customizing. Here, all we need to do is come down and click on copy code, or we can continue customizing if we wanna make some more changes. And then down here, we have a few platform options for embedding this buy button. Okay, so what I'm going to do is log into WordPress and show you a few different methods using different themes and different placements for embedding your products into WordPress. Okay, so let's head over to WordPress now. Okay, so here I am inside one of my WordPress websites. First, what I'm going to do is show you how to embed your products or catalog using Elementor, which is a visual drag and drop page builder. So here I am on one of my WordPress pages. What I'm going to do is navigate over this element and click on add section and then come down and click on single section here, which is a single row and then click here 
and I'm going to navigate up to search widget and type in code. Then I want to locate short code and drag this block element into this section and simply navigate up to enter your short code and paste in the product code, the buy button code into this section here. And as you can see, that's going to embed that product collection onto my WordPress page. I can also navigate over to advance and change the background of this section if I like. However, let's go ahead and preview what this looks like. And as you can see, this is what this page will look like with these embedded products. I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do now is show you how to do this same process, embedding these products and the buy button onto a WordPress website using Divi. Okay, so here we are on Divi. What I'm going to do is add a new section, then come down and click on regular. And again, I'm going to select this single row. And I'm going to type in code again and then click on code and then paste in our code. Come down and click on the green tick. And then what we're going to do is open this page in a new page and preview what this looks like. And as you can see, this is what our collection from Shopify will look like on WordPress once embedded using Divi. Okay, so now we're going to use the standard block builder within WordPress to add this code. Okay, so here we are within WordPress without a theme, and we're just going to use the standard builder inside WordPress. All we do is navigate up to the top and click on this plus icon to add a new block. Then we're going to simply type in code again, then come down and click on code, drag that and place that in here. Then all we need to do is paste in our code. Then once you've added the code, simply navigate up to preview and preview what this looks like either on desktop, tablet or mobile and then click preview in new tab. Okay, so how can you embed a product in your blog post on the right hand side using a widget? This is something that you want to do if you have a blog post and you have a right hand sidebar, a widget, and you want your products to display in that widget. This means if someone's reading one of your blogs, they can see your products on the right hand side. Okay, so to do this, first what we're going to do is quickly head back to Shopify. Then once you're back inside Shopify, simply navigate over to the buy button under sales channel, then navigate over to create a buy button. And this time what we want to do is create a product buy button. We just want to embed one product onto our WordPress widget, our sidebar on our blog. Then I can select the product. I'm going to use this product that I want to embed. Then over on the left hand side, again, we can take the time to customize how this embedded product and button will display on WordPress. I'm happy with that for now, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on next and then copy this code and then navigate back to my WordPress dashboard. Then within your WordPress dashboard, simply navigate down the left hand side and locate appearance and then come down and click on widgets. Then under widgets, what you're going to do is simply navigate down and then click on add new, then click on custom HTML, go ahead and paste in that code, then click on preview. And that is how your product's going to display in your blog sidebar, the widget. However, that is everything I wanted to cover. However, that is everything I wanted to cover in this beginner's tutorial, helping you embed your Shopify products or collections into a WordPress website. And remember, you can embed this code on nearly any website in order to display your Shopify products across different websites. And there we have it, guys. That is it for this brief Shopify and WordPress tutorial. Now, if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.